everyone, this is part one of my January book haul. Um, got quite a lot of books so I thought I'd just break it up into two parts. Um, this is um, what I've spent my Christmas money on and Christmas gift vouchers on. Um, if you've seen the other videos you'll know that I have been a recent convert to Harry Potter. We've been given um, a copy of the illustrated guide for Christmas. Uh, which I absolutely loved, got totally transported and so I can't wait for the other books to come out so I've bought the rest of the Harry Potter books but because they're in a beautiful set I did have to get the first one as well so that's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets you all know these number three, Prisoner of Azkaban Goblet of Fire, quite a big chunky one that one even bigger, The Order of the Phoenix. That should help me get over my fear of big books. That's huge. Uh, the Half-Blood Prince number six, which looks quite scary and exciting. They are absolutely beautiful designs, these books as well. Absolutely gorgeous covers. And the final one, book seven, um, The Deathly Hallows. So, um, I know Harry Potter's old news to booktube. Everybody's already read them before. I'm so far behind the times, but I'm looking forward to it. At least I know that um, with all the hype um, that's been surrounding Harry Potter, that it's all true. So I'm quite keen to join in with everybody else. So I'll let you know how I get on with them as I read them for the first time. Uh, the other books that I bought is uh, this one. It's A Reunion of Ghosts. And this is by Judith Claire Mitchell. Um... It seems like it's going to be quite a funny read. Um, it's a, it says on the back, we have a joke, well not a joke, a riddle. Question, how do three sisters write a single suicide note? Answer, the same way a porcupine makes love, carefully. Also tenderly and slowly and by pressing on even when it hurts. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think it's supposed to be a, a cross between, it says here, a literary mashup of the Virgin Su Suicides and Grey Gardens. So we'll see what that one's about. So I think it's supposed to be a bit dark but funny. So yeah, kind of thing I like. Uh, lovely cover. So interested to see what that one's all about. The next one I got is Watership Down by Richard Adams. This is the 40th anniversary edition. It's absolutely beautiful drawings are stunning and it's one of the classics that I've never read. Um, I don't even think I've seen the film but I do remember the song being out which probably most of you won't because you know I'm so old that I do remember things like that. Um, the beautiful cover design and it's one of those sort of lovely matte kind of velvety books. Um, so keen to read this one, don't know much about it and quite happy to go in blind and find out what is with the rabbits. Uh, the next one has also got rabbits on the front and this is Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. I have read Alias Grace and The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood before and adored them and I believe this is part one of the Mad Adam series. Um, as I was buying it in the bookshop, the bookseller was saying, oh you'll love this, it's absolutely brilliant, oh it's a great series, so good recommendation. So hoping to get absorbed and lost in this, love the way Margaret Atwood writes, she's always going to surprise you with everything that she writes. Um, so looking forward to this one and obviously you get to come out and read three books of these, so brilliant series, nice book and seem to have a rabbit theme going on this month. The next one is Our Endless Numbers Days by Claire Fuller. Um, I've heard about this one on YouTube um, a lot. It seems like a really great premise for a book where um, I think is it grandfather tells his granddaughter that the world has ended and they go and hide out in the woods. I kind of like going into books not knowing too much but it, again I seem to always have a theme with my books. I do like a bit of the dark side of life so it sounds really good. It's got excellent reviews. It's an absolutely beautiful cover. Um, and I think it's actually one of the Waterstones book club books. I think that's where I picked it up from on the pile. I think so quite a few of these that I've got are. So yeah, that looks great. The next one is um, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I have never read any of Kurt Vonnegut. Um, so 
it's time to read a few more classics. Like I said, I read a lot, but I don't feel like I'm well read. So this will um, be a part of that. It's one of the lovely vintage red spines. Quite a quick read, so it shouldn't take me too long. Don't know a thing about this. Heard about it, haven't got a clue what it's about. Probably not gonna read the back before I go into it. Just read it and find out. Uh, the next one, my daughter actually found for me when we were browsing the shops and it just sounds like my kind of thing, she knows me quite well. And it's Quite Ugly One Morning by Christopher Brookmeyer. I have heard of this author but I've never read any of his books, don't know anything else by him. Um, but this one again sounds like um, a fun dark crime novel. Um, it says, a crime, a corpse, a killer. Heard it. Except this happens to be a Ponsonby. Scion of venerable Edinburgh medical clan and the manner of his death speaks of unspeakable things. Why is the body displayed like a slice of beef? How come his hands are digitally challenged? And if it's not the corpse, what is that awful smell? It's crime, it's dark and it's set in Edinburgh, one of my most favourite places in the whole planet. So yeah, looking forward to this one. The next one is My Brilliant Friend by Eleanor Ferrante. Um, this is the first one, I think there's four books in this series um, by um, Italian writer, it's translated fiction. Heard great things about it. Again, don't know much about this one, but it's an absolutely beautiful book. Um, it's got beautiful French flaps on it and it feels quality, well made, sturdy, good kind of, yeah, just feels lovely in your hand. So that's that one. The next one is the Penguin English Library edition of Middlemarch by George Eliot. Um, I haven't read any George Eliot, but this book seems to top all the greatest reads charts. Um, it's a huge book, so that should go some way into helping me get over my fear of big books, because I am determined to read some big books this year. Um, again, this is just a beautiful cover. These editions are absolutely stunning. So the fact that you just get to hold a thing of beauty in your hands means that, you know, I'm going to dive in and read the book. And regardless of the massive amount of pages that are in it, which seem to be way over 900. I have read Les Miserables though, which was much more, and I felt like I'd done a great achievement reading that one. And the final book for this book haul is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I have just read um, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and um, I was watching Sudley Lorna on uh, her booktube channel and she carried on with the series Rem Red, Carry On! And um, having a chat with her and she recommended it. So I've read Fangirl, really enjoyed it. So I thought, well, I'll carry on with Carry On. Um, lovely hardback book. And it's got a lovely little map inside. And anywhere that you've got a little map inside is going to be beautiful. So looking forward to reading that one. Um, so that's it for part one of my January book haul. Um, I have got some more books coming, but they're on pre-order. So I'll do part two towards the end of the month and let you know what I got with the rest of my Christmas money and Christmas vouchers. Um, let me know what you've got and I'll see you all soon. Bye!